Hi, my name is Nick Davis, creator and developer of the BLAST technique. Now, BLAST stands for Bilateral Analysis and Stimulation Treatment. Now, I created this back in 2008 when I was having difficulty using EMDR to treat a lady's PTSD and trauma, and I found it very lengthy, very emotional for the client, because I had to keep going back to the trauma again and again and again in order for, for us to resolve it. So what I did from that day, I decided to create a new technique. And what I did is I researched all the stuff I knew around neuroscience, started to look into uh, the work of Joseph Ledoux, who's like an expert around the limbic system and fear versus anxiety and why we get trauma. I also researched lots and lots of uh, authors around it, like Bessel van der Kolk and Gabor Mate, uh, who specialises in addiction and uh, Bessel spe specialises in PTSD and trauma. And what I did is to develop what I believe is to be the fastest and most effective technique for treating PTSD, trauma, phobias or any significant emotional event. So essentially, if something has happened to you and you can't get rid of that memory and it keeps playing itself back in any way uh, and creating negative emotion, BLAST will work to resolve this. So how does it work? So essentially, if we look at all the research, I'm going to keep it nice and simple, but all the research agrees that the right hemisphere of the brain is overactive in some way, um, and they'll disagree on different structures and different parts, but um, basically that part of your brain is overactive. Instead of having a balanced um, brain activity from functional magnetic resonance imaging scans, fMRIs, that well, we, what we found is that if 10 people were to go into a traumatic situation, roughly about 30.1% of those would suffer with PTSD and trauma. So roughly three out of 10. So what we found is if you brain scan the seven people that didn't have it, they'd have lower activity on both hemispheres of the brain, it'd be quite balanced. However, those who suffer with PTSD and trauma, the right hemisphere is, there's a lot more activity going on. So what BLAST does is you don't need any uh, eyes closed, deepening, deepening hypnotic trances for this. You don't need to spill your whole life story. We can do it content free if you like. We just need to know that you've got the memories in your mind. And it's a very kind process. So I've noticed um, with EMDR, it can be quite clinical and there's no engagement, we completely throw that rule book out the window. And what we do is we engage with our clients as human beings should in a very kind and nurturing way. So it's actually a very nurturing and very gentle uh, process. The only uh, downside is because it works so quick, we need to get to the root. But what I say to people is we'll get to the root very quickly, but within minutes that root will have gone and you'll start to feel a lot better. So we go back, we revisit it once, the unpleasant feelings come up and with the eye movements the special suggestions and there are a very specific set of eye movements that are very different to other therapies there are a very specific set of suggestions and things that we do that are very different to other therapies then in a few minutes that process the processing will be done and your ptsd your trauma uh, your phobia whatever else the root of that will go within minutes and then if there are other layers or there are other traumas we can work on those but it's a very fast and effective technique i believe it's the fastest in the world now, um, one of the things that I would say is that one of the things that we do that um, a lot of other therapies fail to do, I believe, is we do a lot of testing. So when we finish processing the trauma with you, what we do is we then test to make sure it's completely um, eradicated, resolved, permanently processed. And the great thing is, is about BLAST, what we do is we don't suppress. It's not a confusion technique, so it's going to exchange a trance for a trance. So if you were to trance out and experience a trauma, then when you think about it, you trance out again. What happens is because it's processed effectively how your brain needed to do it at the time, is you can talk about whatever happened to you. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's very empowering if you can just tell the story of what happened to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask your BLAST practitioner. BLAST practitioners, they're very well trained. They have a, you know, a rigorous set of training we go through with 36 page handouts as an exam. So if you do have any questions, please ask your BLAST practitioner um, and they'll happily answer them for you. So take care, I hope you've enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you soon.